Imagine if you could achieve your goals 84% of the time. How much more motivated would you be? How much more money would you make? And how much easier would your life be if you knew that you would succeed more often than you failed? In surveying 60,000 people for my best-selling book Unstoppable for Entrepreneur Magazine, we uncovered those who failed to achieve their goals were lacking the number one competitive advantage that all high achievers have that increases their chances of success tenfold. They pull key levers on a daily basis that increase their energy and drive, but most importantly, their focus. Those who failed to achieve their goals were making 12 specific mistakes that resulted in cognitive decline that caused them to become easily distracted and increase their chances of social media addiction. Thankfully, I've got a free quiz to help pinpoint the mistakes you're making. But first, you must understand that your number one competitive advantage in this world is your ability to ruthlessly focus on goals that will move the needle for you in business and in life. The biggest complaint I receive from people who are struggling to focus is simple. They believe they never have enough time to get everything done. But the truth is, you don't need more time. You need more focus so you can get more done in less time. To do so, you must learn how to deploy a new model for success, which includes the nine mechanisms of superhuman focus. And no, they don't include outdated time management hacks that don't stand up to the stress of modern day life. Let's kick off with three out of nine mechanisms that will dramatically increase your ability to focus right now. One of the most important mechanisms of focus is regulating your energy levels via your central nervous system, which is where BDNF comes in. BDNF, otherwise known as brain-derived neurotrophic factor, plays a key role in regulating energy balance and glucohomeostasis. It's also known as fertilizer for your brain. Those that struggle to focus have one thing in common, their energy levels, along with their focus, fluctuates wildly up and down throughout the day like a roller coaster ride. If you've ever wondered why you're focused one minute but not the next, here's why. When your glucose levels drop, you become easily distracted from the task at hand. This can be caused by consuming caffeinated beverages high in sugar that's often followed by a slump. Memory, thinking and learning are closely linked to glucose levels and how efficiently the brain is using this fuel source. If your brain is lacking glucose, the communication between neurons breaks down. If you're having too much, it reduces the amount of BDNF in your brain. Balance is key. Your goal is to have natural ebbs and flows in energy and cognition throughout the day. When you master this, you also master your ability to schedule key tasks at varying times of the day to maximize your output when you're working at your best. BDNF also plays a vital role in neuroplasticity, which makes your brain more resilient to stress and adaptable to change. When you manage BDNF, you manage the magic three, energy levels, brain health, and adaptability which is why I cover BDNF in detail in my program, The Biohacker's Guide to Superhuman Focus. One way to increase BDNF is to manage stress and control inflammation levels, which leads us to our next key mechanism, stress management. Stress management is more than just meditating. Although it's a vital component that's been shown to increase BDNF in studies that help make you more adaptable to change. You see, psychological stress can cause inflammation in the brain that may lead to brain fog and a dramatic loss in focus. It's like turning the light switch off in your brain. That's why brain fog is an important question asked in the free quiz below. It helps to identify an underlying trigger that's causing a loss of productivity. As I write in my book Unstoppable, inflammation is more important than time management when it comes to focus. You can have all of the time in the world, but if you're in cognitive decline, time becomes irrelevant because you won't have the mental cognition to use it effectively. Just think about the number of hours you've wasted on social media this week alone due to your body's immune system fighting off inflammation and redirecting your energy to activities that don't require much energy, like social media. And here's where it gets interesting. A group of researchers from the University of Buffalo and the Ohio State University 
found that social media use can lead to high inflammation. It's a double-edged sword. Studies have also shown that inflammation inhibits BDNF, thereby reducing your ability to adapt to and manage stress, causing you to quickly lose focus. Stress management must include inflammation management as a core component, no matter how healthy you are. If it doesn't, it's like having a car without fuel. You'll just sit there wondering why you aren't moving and keep on scrolling your life away. To achieve superhuman focus, you need to be first clear on your goals, then reduce any inflammation that's coming from dietary factors like processed foods and excessive sugar. This will result in more even moods and consistent energetic and focused output that makes you more effective in the time that you do have available to you. Thankfully, there's an easy dietary approach you can use that helps to reduce inflammation. But next, you have to master a mechanism that improves your ability to juggle multiple concepts and tasks at once. And that is cognitive flexibility. Every day we're inundated with demands from life, business and work. We need to be able to switch from one task to the other with ease. This is known as a cognitive shift. Multitaskers do this like a pro. It allows you to solve problems creatively and adapt to curveballs thrown your way. Think of it like water. When water is in a liquid state, it flows easily and adapts to the changing landscape. But when it's frozen, it stops. This is known as cognitive rigidity. Cognitive flexibility empowers you to adapt to whatever is in front of you. On the other hand, Cognitive rigidity makes you resist necessary and beneficial changes. There are three steps you can take to improve this, but one you can get started with straight away is to redirect your thoughts. For example, if you find yourself going down the rabbit hole and ruminating on negative thoughts, otherwise known as catastrophizing, you're already displaying signs of cognitive rigidity. Next time you start doing this, interrupt and redirect those thoughts back to the task at hand. You can do this by placing an ice pack on your forehead, which has been shown to slow ruminating thoughts, or put a song on from your childhood that makes you smile. This will break that pattern and make you more flexible and adaptable to change so you can regain focus. The other advanced yet easy to apply mechanisms of superhuman focus include aligning your purpose with your biochemistry, activating your motivation molecule dopamine, which I have a free guide for you on how it works when you take the free quiz below, mastering sleep and recovery, modulating your mood and focus through the gut-brain access, entering a state of focus and flow where five hours of work feels like five minutes, and training your brain to complete activities that you've been putting off. But your first step is to take the free quiz below to pinpoint the 12 mistakes that you're making that's costing you more than time. It's costing you your goals, your income, and your potential. Click the link below now to find your focus score and learn how to activate your motivation molecule dopamine today.